Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this third part of the Arduino tutorial series, we are going to talk about a new command to change the brightness of the LED. But first of all, I'm going to talk about the circuit that we have created in the previous video and we are going to remake it so that we can test our new command. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. I appreciate that. Also, make sure to buy the starter kit that contains the Arduino Uno and a bunch of components that we are going to use. And let's jump right into it. So in the previous video, we've used this breadboard, an LED and the 220 ohm resistor. Also, you need few jumper wires. But first of all, let's talk about the circuit. We have here this battery, but in our project, we are using the Arduino. Anyway, so this is going to be one of the pins. If you don't know, by convention, the current goes from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative side. So here's the direction of the current in our circuit. Also, we've used the ohm resistor to limit this current. That's because the current that is provided by the Arduino is gonna damage the LED. That's why we've added this 220 ohm resistor. You could use the 301. And also you need to make sure that this leg is the longer leg of the LED and this one is the shorter one. That's because the current can only go from the longer leg of the LED to the shorter leg. As you can see here, we have these two legs. This one is the positive and also we have this one. So make sure that this one is connected to the positive side of the battery or one of the pins and this one is connected to the ground. Basically we are using the ground of the Arduino Uno and it's labeled G and D. So let's go ahead and create the circuit. First of all I'm gonna go from one of the pins. For example let's select the pin number two and let's go to one of these points to connect the uh, ohm resistor then let's put one leg of the ohm resistor in the same column and the other leg to one of the other points now we've connected the uh, pin number two to the first leg of the ohm resistor let's go ahead and connect our ohm resistor with the longer leg of the LED which is this one make sure to put it in the same column so I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you could see. That's how we could make these connections using this breadboard. And finally, let's go from the shorter leg of the LED to the ground. And it's this pin. Once you've made the connections, let's go ahead and upload the code so that we can check the result. So here's the previous code, which is going to make our LED blinking. Make sure that you are using the pin number two. And let's go ahead and upload it. But I forgot to plug in the cable, so I'm going to plug the USB cable so that we can power the Arduino Uno. And let's upload the code again. And there you go, we have our LED and it's blinking. So in the previous videos, we've used this digital write to turn the LED on when we set it to high and turn it off using the low keyword. But in this video, we are going to use our new command and it's analog write. It's gonna allow us to set the in-between values. For example, if we want the half of the brightness, we can use this command. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about it. And let's get rid of all of these lines of code. The same thing, we need to set this pin as an output. But down here, we are going to use the new command and it's analog, right? Make sure to use the camel case notation. As you can see, analog is lowercase and the right keyword starts with this capital letter. The same thing, it takes the LED pin, which is pin number two, and the second parameter is not high or low, it's gonna be an int. Basically, we can pass in a value between 0 and 255. 0 means 0 volt, and the 255 means 5 volts. So when we pass in 255, it looks like we have used the digital write high, so I'm using the mouse to write these words. So don't blame me. And when we pass in the zero value, it seems like we have used the digital write low. 
but we could also pass in the in-between values. For example, if we want 2.5 volts, we could pass in the value 125. It's about the middle of this range. So let's go ahead and test our command. The same thing, we use analog write, the pin number, which is pin number two. Then let's go ahead and use 255. But we have one problem. Our new command is not gonna work for all of the pins. Basically, when we use digital write, we could use all of the pins from number 2 to 13. But the analog write works only for the pins that has the squiggly sign. So let me zoom in so that you could see the character. For example, the pin number 2 doesn't has the squiggly character. We could use only the pin number 3, 5, 6, 9 and so on. Make sure to use one of these. So for example, let's remove this connection. And let's use the pin number three. So this one, zero, one, two, and three. Of course, the circuit is not gonna work because we need to change the pin number from the script. Let's go back to our code and let's change this value to three. And let's upload it. And yeah, our LED is turned on and it's full brightness. That's because we have passed 255. Let's change the value to zero. And let's upload the code again. And our LED turns off, so it's working. For example, let's go ahead and use a smaller value, like 20. And let's upload it. And now our pin is not too bright. I think you noticed that. So let's go ahead and increase it a bit, like 125. And yeah, now it's a little bit bright. So make sure to play around with this new command and change the brightness. We could also improve our code. We can declare a variable up here. So instead of passing this value directly, let's go ahead and create a variable. And I'm gonna use an int. And let's call it a brightness. And let's assign a value to width like 30. Then in order to use it, we need to write the name. And it's the second parameter of this analog write function. Let's save our sketch. You could verify it using this button. So we didn't have errors. Let's go ahead and upload it again. And yeah, it's working as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. And hit that bell icon so that you don't miss my next videos. And I will see you in the next one.